So let's look at a quick way to analyze database performance, in this case a Microsoft SQL Server, using Wireshark. So I have the trace file loaded here. You can see it has some web traffic and it also has some uh, Microsoft SQL traffic in it. So the first thing we need to do is enable the transom plugin. Okay, and now we get this additional information here. Um, I'm using a default profile, so I'm going to uh, quickly create a new profile, which I will call, uh, let's call it just TDS, that will do. And um, now I'm going to add the service time as a column. So now we have the service time in here. I need to filter the traffic to just show the uh, Microsoft SQL Server traffic. Okay, and now we have uh, the actual response times for all of the different requests. And finally, if I just want to see those response times, I can add the filter term transom like that. So there we have it, all of the actual uh, response times um, or the service times for the database server. And finally, perhaps I want to graph this so I can export this as a CSV. I just want the uh, packet summary line and the column headers. I want the displayed information with the uh, filter applied and I can output that into a CSV. And so there we have all the service times and I can graph that. If I wanted time of day instead of the offset into the trace, the only thing I would have to do is back in here, I would need to change the view to time display format and time of day if you want local time or time of day UTC if you want UTC time. Okay, hope that helps and uh, look forward to talking to you in the next video.